El Ghashia, the overwhelming event, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. There has reached you the news of the overwhelming event, the resurrection. Some persons shall be downcast and humble that day, toil-worn and weary. They shall enter a blazing fire. They shall be made to drink from a spring of boiling hot water. Dry, bitter, and thorny herbage shall be their only food, which neither nourishes nor satisfies hunger. On that day, some other persons will be fresh and joyful, well satisfied with the fruit of their pious strivings. They will live in a sublime garden, wherein you will hear no vain talk. It shall have a running spring. It shall have thrones raised high, and goblets properly set, and cushions beautifully ranged in rows and velvety carpets tastefully spread. Do the people not then look at the clouds and the camels, how they are made, and at the heaven, how it is raised high, and at the mountains, how they are set up, and at the earth, how it is spread out? Keep on admonishing them, even if they insist on shutting their eyes. So your duty is one of an admonisher. You are not appointed a keeper, stern and hard, to compel them. But as to him who turns away and disbelieves, Allah shall punish him with the greatest punishment. Verily to us is their ultimate return. Then it is surely for us to call them to account.